What's up, no coders? In today's video, we're going to show you how to let users or members comment on your software built web app. If you are just joining us for the first time and if you are new to software or Airtable, we'd recommend that you check out our first two series. The first being how to build a web page using software and Airtable. It's a four part series um, and it covers all of the basics and all of the beginning, uh, the beginners type things. Um, and then our second tutorial series is a how to build a client portal series, a three part series. We probably put that in maybe the intermediate category of software and Airtable. And um, the purpose of this, this series is really to start going through more advanced functionality um, using software and Airtable to build out really any type of web app that you can think of, whether it's an online community, a membership site, or an e-commerce store, or simply a, a directory type site. Um, okay, well, let's build, let's get going. Okay, so we're gonna try and do this as a one-shot take, uh, which is always brave, but sure, look, we'll, we'll, we'll hopefully it goes to plan. Um, this is the basic layout of, of, of what we're going to be looking at. Um, it's quite a straightforward build in software. And effectively, we have three movies here, which in a future series, we'll show you how to bring things like movies or, or songs or whatever it might be into your app using what's called an API. But anyway, for today's tutorial, what we're going to get into is how we can let members um, leave comments or reviews on the movies and then to allow other users go in and see comments that others have left and uh, respond and um, uh, and, and I suppose the key thing is that we only want, if a user leaves a comment on the Outpost film, we only want the comments to show on that particular film and similarly on Palm Springs or on this uh, obviously some sort of prison break film with Harry Potter in it. Um, but anyway, we will uh, cover all that. We might just have to jump into the Airtable base that is behind this particular setup at the moment. So it's quite a straightforward base. We're going to talk through it just in terms of our thought process and how it was set up this way and why it was set up this way. So obviously any um, membership or online community type site is going to have um, members uh, or users or whatever, whatever you'd like to label you'd like to give it. Um, the next thing will be whatever the actual, I suppose, subject matter of your app is, whether it's movies, whether it's jobs, whether it is uh, blog posts, whether it's video tutorials, uh, whether it's properties, um, whatever it, it can be, um, you know, it, you're going to have a you're going to have a table that's going to store all of that information. This is the information, I suppose, that is presenting in this list block here on our front page. Um, comments then. We, we've built a separate table for comments. This is how, how we would suggest, I suppose, rolling out your comment functionality within software. Um, and I suppose when you're thinking about what to do or how to set this up, um, I suppose a comment is always going to be, a comment is always going to have one commenter, right? Um, a comment is always going to be created by one of your members. So we know we're definitely going to need to link that to the members table. And that's what this first um, relational or linked linked field is here. It's linking it to the members table. And I've actually renamed it just commenter so that I know um, what exactly this 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 uh, this field or this 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 column represents, and um, so I, I can't I can't say how uh, how handy it is I suppose naming your columns correctly because as you'll notice as we build out this app over the next the couple of episodes and. Um, you know, the, 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 these tables are all going to organically and naturally grow as we layer and layer more functionality and information on top of our on top of our web app. And um, so the more sort of information or description that you can put in at this stage, the better. Second thing on your comments is it's always going to be linked to a movie. So um, again, we're going to want to put in a related or a linked field here so that whatever the comment posted by the user is, it's 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 linked to whatever movie it is that they're looking at at that point in time. Um, we have two lookup fields and again you'll see why they've been brought in and um, that, that that's probably the basic layout. I've obviously set up a table here for likes which is probably in the next uh, the next part of this series is how to let users like the movies, show that they like it or, or like a comment. So we'll we look at that next um, in the next part of this series. Okay, so if we jump back into software, we've got our list details page here and it's just to show you, I suppose, what, what's going on here. So if we click into this weird Harry Potter prison break movie, uh, I've actually watched, seen this film, it's actually quite a good movie, but um, if we just jump into it and, um, you know, let's just see, um, 
so the idea is obviously this is your movie list details page here in your web app and um, now you could have lots more information here for example um you know using an api you could bring in everything like the rotten tomatoes rating the imdb rating of the movie you could bring in um you could bring in the director's information the actor's information the year of release everything like that anyway for the sake of this thing we just keep it simple for the sake of demonstration purposes so um We've built in basically a form block here. Did you like this movie? And we'll just say, I found it very confusing. Confusing as to why Harry Potter was not resorting to magic to break out of the prison. Anyway, um, we will post that, right? And the idea is that once this is posted, I suppose, um, it'll show up as a comment on this particular uh, post. So there it is there. I'm logged in as Dwayne Johnson at the moment and um, I found it very confusing. So there, there's, our, there's our comment there. Here's one earlier. Oh, Jason Bourne actually posted a comment as well. So there's obviously a funny collection of characters here. Um, so what, all that's going on down here is this is just a list uh, block that is actually inserted as a block on a list details page. So what we have in the functionality behind this is basically we have a conditional filter on this list block that says that we only want to see comment records that have the movie record ID um, associated with it and that is how we are only showing comments associated with this movie and if we go back we are not showing any comments associated with the Pam Springs movie if we come on in here you will see that there has been one left by Jason Bourne there he's a bit of a prolific commenter actually even though he generally tries to keep a low profile but um so you can see the idea here is you're you're trying to um uh, you're, you're building out a comments functionality and um, you're keeping it organized by by movie type or whatever it is that your what it, that your your digital product is doing and um, it's to show you how you can do this in software and um, and what, what the back end in your air table looks like so if we jump into actually the um if we jump into the development um, or the studio, the software studio here we'll show you exactly how this works so I'm going to go into the movie detail page okay and if we come in here um you'll see here's our form block okay so the, the, the critical thing here really is very simple form you can make the form as complicated or or, or as simple as you like and um, i mean i have another version of this where we allowed a full movie review and people could choose the rating the score that they gave the movie and then uh, we'd have a roll-up field in Airtable that would average the scores out by all of the users and it would compare it to uh, rotten tomatoes and imdb so there's, there's lots you can do and um, but for the sake of this thing we're just keeping it as simple as possible so you understand the theory and the logic of it and um, so the, the key thing here particularly where you want to display um the, the 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 post after the user has submitted it um is that you've two hidden fields in your form field so i suppose this is the advantage of a softer form over a native Airtable form and um, software allows you to have a hidden field and to prescribe a value prescribe a value to that field so the two critical things here is basically we need to tell Airtable when the user submits this comment who posted the comment so the logged in user's email address and we also need to tell air Airtable, well what film did they comment on and what's going to happen is when the user posts a comment here and, and as you just saw a second ago Dwayne the rock um posted a comment it basically filled in these two buckets here for me so it linked this comment to Dwayne in the members table and it linked this comment to escape from pretoria in the movies table and um, that enables I suppose this next functionality being this list block um, at the bottom of our list details page and we'll look at that in just a second so the key thing here really is passing your logged in user email as a, as a hidden field you don't want your users to have to key in their email and their name every time that they fill out a comment and um, so this is how you do it the actual snippet that's used here is in the description of the video below and um, you, you can you can use that in various ways in software and then this piece of, this piece of code here what it does is it actually takes when you go into any of your uh, software where you know list detail sites i suppose it's always the same url it just has a different record id at the end of it and this record id represents your record in Airtable. so if i come here 
that record ID is the escape from Pretoria record ID, right? I've used a formula field here to basically um, bring up the record ID so I know what the record ID is for each of these rows. It's always going to be a unique, a unique code. Um, so we can use that when we go, and if we jump back into the studio here, when we look at putting our list uh, block uh, at the bottom of our list, our movies list details page. And um, when you come here to conditional filters, it allows you to effectively say, I only want to show comments that relate to Palm Springs. And the way I know that they relate to Palm Springs or that I'm able to filter them is by saying is the movie's record ID. So basically what all this is doing is basically saying if this record ID is equal to the movie record ID in the URL here, then please display it on this page. And that is what is happening. So that, that is how you can achieve, I suppose, show sh listing related items under a post. So you can imagine the other functionalities that this might have. This could be a blog post on say no-code tools. And you might talk about various no-code tools within your blog post. And then you might want to have your, your actual tools list details page at the bottom here, but you only want to show tools that are related to this particular article. And so you might have this particular article, you might have associated with your tools in your Airtable backend and that way you can put a conditional filter here showing you just the tools associated with that blog post. So that's another, another straightforward um, use case. So that's really it for today's video. Um, just to go over, I suppose, what we have upcoming um, in future videos, if we jump in here and if we open this up here, Right, I suppose today we covered comments and basic setup. Um, you know, our first two series of really co cover the basic setup in more detail. If you'd like to revise or jump back to those, feel free to do so. Next time we're probably gonna look at likes and how to let users like, um, you know, comments or movies or whatever it might be. And um, we have a plan to look at member profiles, how to let users set up a profile, how to let users have a dashboard then. So say for example, uh, you know, something you could see on a movie type review website is that you would like to be able to save movies that you would like to watch later. So that might be one part on your dashboard. Um, and another thing might be that you would like to show all of my reviews, all the movies that I've actually reviewed. And again, you can show that on your dashboard. Um, you know, obviously to have an actual social element or a community element, you want to be able to follow our friend or their members in the community. So we'll show you that in another episode coming up. Um, and we'll go through the list here, but I suppose as you're watching this, if there's anything that you would like to see us build out um, and do a video on, please leave um, feedback on it in the comment section below. We will um, we will feature it in a future request, in a future video. So um, feel free to put in, no matter how um, small or big the challenge you feel it might be. We, we, we love, I suppose, trying to push the boundaries of these tools and see what is possible um, with the current functionality of it. Um, so look, thanks for staying with me to the end of the video. Um, would ask that if you got any value from today's video, we'd love if you would um, uh, like the channel. But uh, you know, it's really when some we get a new subscriber to the channel that it, that it, that it makes our day here. So um, look, thanks guys, thanks for following along, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Talk to you soon.